very justifiable political focused attack on the government on the issue of Manipur and we've been covering it extensively here. You know, I think it's, I, I think it does no favors to the Congress that, you know, you've just thrown your hands up and refused to engage on the issue of Rajasthan. Many of the things that Charu Even talks about Salman are true. They, you know, they haven't sprung from BJP actions. Salman, and, you know, the, well, it doesn't look great for the Congress to simply say diversion and not say anything at all about Rajasthan. Let me let me now, you know, I've heard very, I've heard Charu yes. very patiently. Now she should listen patiently as well. Look, I think you, you said it very well that any reasonable person in the country who is watching what is happening in the country cannot compare what is happening to, in Manipur with any other part of the country right now. It's not just an emergency situation. This is a national security threat. Why is that? Because it yeah. is not just about Manipur any longer. This could grow to Mizoram. This could go to Nagaland. This is a very, very serious situation. So when you have a state that is effectively divided into two parts, in the state, many people believe, many people, not just opposition, just regular observers believe that the ruling party there has played politics in such a way that it has incited violence against one community. It has created intercommunal violence in that state. Then that ruling party, the BJP, is answerable. And it is doubly answerable because they have a double engine circar led by Prime Minister Modi. Now, Prime Minister Modi is welcome to go to Rajasthan or to any other state anytime. But in three months, he has not visited Manipur once. Mm. If he had done so right now and launched the same attack against us, abused us from Manipur, that would have been very different because at least the people of Manipur, whether they are Mete, whether they are uh, Kuki, whether they are but, Nagas, they would all feel that the prime minister is there, something can happen that they, they can maybe possibly have a life of security and dignity. But he doesn't do any of that. And now, but, but, let, so, me but, this, let me address, let me address Charu's but, other... Uh, let the me the address... Of that look, 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 Charu, I don't think this is right. I did not interrupt you. Please yes, quickly finish your point, Charu. I'm addressing your, I'm addressing your <laughs> Lal diary. I'm addressing your red diary. Yes, this Lal diary. I, I, I want to let you know that the BJP and its different arms and agencies do all sorts of things about the red diary. But the real red... The real red, the real lal thing that is important is the lal tomato, the lal mirch, just ki mangai hai, and the lal gas cylinder. Okay, okay. Hai. <laughs> that is the real, that is, that sure. is why Mr. Gelor Ji said today that you will be shown a red flag by the people of Rajasthan. You thought you were going to win that state? You are going to lose that state. Okay, Ch Ch same point. I, 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 I'll I add a couple of questions after this, but Charu, you want to quickly respond to that? Yeah, because, uh, you know, I just realized, and I'm sure all the viewers realized this too, Shiv, that when the Congress spokesperson spoke for a second time, he didn't have even one single word of condemnation for the actions which have failed to protect the people of Rajasthan, which are done by the government itself. When a government minister says, ye purusho ka pradesh hai, maybe somebody should apologize, if not the chief minister. And when a minister is dismissed for calling out uh, the situation of women, he's dismissed instead of an investigation being um, started at his uh, words, he's dismissed and I mm. still see the Congress spokesperson would rather yeah. talk about every other thing except address that. Do not think this tactic is not visible to every single person who's watching this debate right now. As I said, I am neither comparing Manipur nor downplaying the, the gravity of the situation in Manipur and uh, Shiv has grilled me enough on that subject and we have uh, talked about it enough times, taken responsibility, taken onus, taken action. Please Please tell it's, me what you know, has, has it become an, you know has it done? has it and become an issue of seen, ego and brinkmanship in that case then i'm sorry then i'm sorry the people of rajasthan are highly unlucky they are highly unlucky uh, to have such a government uh, in place you are like i said aap badnam kar rahe hain rajasthan pradesh ko bhi aur purusho ko bhi